to see you all there. Wow, so many people, I'm happy to see you there. Welcome everybody. I am Luciana Denise and I am going to be with you every Monday. Today is another time on Monday with Luciana. Are you happy to be here with me today? Hi, Elena, Jonathan, Gara, Mohamed, Dalma. It's really nice to have you all over the road connected in this Monday. We are going to be together every Monday. Is that not amazing? Do you like that? We are going to talk today about balance. What means balance? Do you know what the word balance means? Balance. Like this, to be in one leg. Do we have a good balance? We can do yoga and have a good balance, train our balance. In life, we can have emotional balance when we are riding. Balance is so important all around in life, especially when we are riding. And many of your questions are, why is balance so important for riding? Because the balance is what we need to perform well during the competition, during the course. Can you imagine if we are sitting on our horse and we are like this and we want to go straight? What is the sign that we are giving to our horse? We want to go straight, but our body is here on the left and telling, oh, uh, my body wants to go left, but I want to go straight. So what my horse should understand about this sign? We go left. That's why Today, I have here many exercises for you to train balance and to show you the position on the horse, how is a good position. And I want to start today, this Monday with Luciana, tell you a story, a story about London. Wow, Olympic Games 2012, London. And I rode my horse Lennox, which was an amazing horse, very strong and brave, that everyone was even afraid of him and saying, wow, what a strong horse, how can you ride such a big horse and you're, you know, just so silly and he's just amazing, powerful. I said, yes, you're right, he is amazing and powerful and he can jump over the sky and uh, it's better to have a good balance. So, yes, what happened in London was at the final, at the first round, we were clear on, and uh, we have just one time point, and that worried me a little bit because I said, "Oh my God, uh, why did I have that um, one point, which I never had a time fault with him in any other competition?" Because you know he's a he's a strong horse; he wants to go for the fence, and uh, why on the Olympic Games on the first round we ended with this one point? It was about five clears and some with one point. So um, I was already a little bit worried to start my second round, which means emotional balance. You know, my emotions were a little bit like this. Oh my God, what's gonna happen now? Is it time for this gonna really disturb me for a medal? I wanted to go in the podium, what's gonna happen? That I was a bit worried about it. And the same way I was already like worry about what was to happen and I forgot to concentrate and be mindful every moment of my second round with Lennox. Do you know what happened? There was three more fences to come and there was huge fences, 1 meter 60. And I turned, there was a U-turn to a vertical and on that moment I saw three more fences to the final. I'm getting there. And I, I, I got tense, I put pressure on my knees here and kind of my, my leg, it went a little bit like 
you know, far from the horse. We're going to talk about that in some minutes when I'm going to show you the ball. And by doing this, I lost my steer only in one side. So by losing my steer on one side, what happened? I got unbalanced on the horse. So I was like hanging on this steer, trying to get the other steer all the time here. And I couldn't get it. More I wanted to get the, the steer back, more the steer was rolling and I couldn't get it. So I jumped the fence that was the vertical. And in the air, I could feel, oh, I'm just holding to one side, and Lennox had a mistake. So I said, now I need to get the steers back. And I was fighting with my steer to get it back, and I, I couldn't get it. So it was coming to the last line, it was a big vertical again, and a 1 meter 60, 2 meters wide oxer as a last fence, and I was just trying to hold myself on Lennox. There is nothing I could do. So, I had a lot of fence down, the last fence, just like in the, in the second pole of the auction, not because um, he wanted to jump, he jumped the clear, but I, I was just not balanced enough. I couldn't, I couldn't hold myself on the jump, on that huge big jump. So, can you see why it's so important to have a good balance? Is it really important? Is everything for us to have a good balance when we want to have a good performance? That's why today we said we're going to train riding without stirrups. That is one of the most efficient ways of training the balance. As we are not here and we don't have a horse, you already watched in my way master classes, many of my classes that I teach riding without stirrups. And today for you, in my new way, my way master class with the heart butterfly, we're going to ride the cavalettis over the heart butterfly without stirrups because this is so so important this is just so important so by talking to you about all these things you can see here i have many tools that we can train one of the easiest ones is if you have this kind of balls you see that's like a rubber ball and then, yeah, soft. You can put more air or less air, how much you want to have it. And then you can start, for example, in your daily life, training your balance. You wake up in the morning, and then you already go on the balls, and you brush your teeth. Okay, I'm brushing my teeth with one leg. That's already a way of training your balance when you start your day. I go to the other one. And then I brush my teeth. Do you see that? It's so easy. You can train balance every day in your daily life, whatever you are. You don't need to have the horse to train balance. Because when you ride your horse and you already balance yourself, it's much easier for the horse. So another way I like to train my balance is also with the bozu. Can you see that? Do you know the bozu? Which you can ride on the top. I say right, or you can just stand on the top. And you can do many exercises here. Again, taking a leg, and then you can take a ball with someone. You can throw you some balls. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, and then it's not easy, so you can change even your legs. And again, ask someone to throw you some balls there and there. And then you go down, and you can do so many kind of movements to train your balance. This is something you can do at home. Whatever you are, you can just have your tools to play with your balance. So, like this. It looks easy, right? And then there are so many other ways you can do to train your balance every day. But now I want to talk to you about something which is really important. To have a good balance. When do we have a good balance in our body? our position, right? To have a good position, but also in our core. The core is the abdomen, abdominal muscles here. And that's why we need to train it a lot doing abdo abdominal exercises. And also with the ball. Can you see the ball here? Are you with me? Yeah. So why is the ball important? Because there are many exercises you can do in the ball for the balance, but also you can imagine that you are riding a horse. So if I'm here and I'm riding a horse, that's going to get a rein to make it that more horse. So it's going to just move a little bit here. Are you there with me? Are you in 
enjoy? I'm just trying to paint a little that you can see me better. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. It was still there. Are you back? with my camera. That's part of our life, right? We want to be really light. Are you there with me? That's the, just, just gonna think about that this is the ring of the horse. So, you can have your ball at home, right? Get a good position. When you see you're riding on a horse, then you get your legs out of the ground here, like if you'd be riding on a horse on the stairs. One thing very important I want to tell you, a lot of people tell you, heels down, heels down. So when you put only the heels down, you put only the heels down, and you lose the contact with this part of the leg, the inside part of your leg, then you are not really on the horse. So it's very important that you have your whole legs connected on the saddle and on the body of the horse. This is so important. Yeah, this is really one of the secrets that you already have a good connection to your horse. So by telling you this, if you put too much pressure on your knees, that's what happened with me in the leaf against London. I, I was tense. I put so much pressure here on my knees that my legs got a little bit like loose and then I lost my steer. So it's very important to have a good weight on the steers. Don't worry that much if your heels are really down like this. For sure you don't like them up like this. But look, important is to have a good weight on your stirrups, your leg is well placed and the whole leg is pressure on the horse. Do you understand that, the difference? If you're just on the knee or just worry about the heels and then the legs get open, then it's already not a good position. So, a good position is when you remember that you have like um, something like pulling you here on your head and you feel that your body and your spine are straight. You see that you're straight. So you're not like this, riding, because then your shoulder get in front. You're not like, like this, just there in front. No, just get a natural position, your balance. And you know, just feel good. And then you have the reins on your hands. The reins, they should be not also the support for you, like I'm hanging on my reins just to get my balance, so I am just like here to get the balance. No, they should be on your hands with a light connection, down, not here high, although there are so many ways of riding today. Some of the trainers, they tell you, ride with your hands high, Go with your hands down, open your hands. Look, don't put your hands too much here, too much there. It's all very good. And if there's no right or wrong, if he's really down, if he's really high, try to find your position. I learned my whole life always to have the hands down. But honestly, sometimes in the course, I also have to do some kind of movement. And then you can have your hands like suddenly here or there or there. I mean, we don't have to be perfect, but we have to feel we are doing good and we are feeling good and our horse is feeling good. And we are all in balance. We are together. So be together, be one with your horse. Remember, we learned that in my way master classes, in the fundamentals part. It's so important, even before we have balance, to be one with your horse and then to have a connection with your horse. And then you write, you have a good position, like we just said now, and then you can have the hands, the rings on your hands, and then you can just 
come and walk with yours and start trying. How is your pressure? How is my balance? Am I straight? Am I not straight? Um, have you ever thought about that? If you are straight or not straight? Did you ask already someone to stay in front of you when you're riding or in your back? And then they're going to tell you, oh, you, you are like, your body is turning to the left. Oh, your shoulder is too much to the right. And then you say, oh, but I didn't feel that. I didn't realize that. Is that really like this? Oh, so, what is the best way to know if you're in good balance? You just, right, feel your whole body on the horse. Just close your eyes a little bit. And then you can feel you're in good balance or not. Feel that you have the whole pressure. Yes, that's it. In the walk, and then you can even stay on your stirrups, stand up like this on your stirrups. So you're standing on your stirrups a little bit, and then you can feel, yeah, put your hands down on the neck of the horse and see if you have a good position. And then I'm gonna tell you a very good exercise you can do with a trainer. If you have a nice, quiet horse, ask your trainer to put you in a lounge. Take your stirrups out and also no more reins. If you can, take the reins. It has to be a really nice, quiet horse. Please, only do that with a good trainer and with a really nice, quiet horse because they have to be very nice, very calm, that doesn't get you surprised and then something happens. Okay? So do that with a trainer with a quiet horse and use the lounge work 20 minutes if you can in your day um, two or three times a week to train your balance without stirrups without even reins and then you can feel if your body is straight is straight because if you turn a bit like this on your horse then automatically the horse is going to be falling on the shoulders so your trainer has to tell you be straight again, get it straight on your spine, on your position. So be straight, hands down, and breathe. Don't forget to breathe, it's so important. Yeah? So, another little tip that I can give you here if you want to go already left and you're riding your horse, if you just turn your eyes a little bit to the left. It doesn't mean you have to turn and then fall. You see, it's very important for us that we keep our head straight. Keep straight. Not here down, because then we're already rolling our body, rolling our spine. So we want to keep straight, right? So look up, look high. You can use your eyes to give you signs if I'm going to go left, if I'm going to go right. But not really sometimes that I have to go here and then turn my body there. I'm gonna go there and then there. Try to do that all very smoothly. There are so many good exercises you can do when you're riding on your indoor arena, for example, or outside in the nature, or in a big indoor, uh, outdoor place. Take a tree or take a point which you wanna look to this and then feel your balance and don't, don't put your, like, your head down and then you kind of lose your balance. So there are so many things you can do to train your balance. And the most important thing is how do you feel about your balance. So you see, I'm telling you, I transformed my weakness into strength. Because I lost my stirrup in London and it cost me a dream, maybe, um, and many other things, right? I really started working on myself and uh, I created even the butterfly method after London because it's when I had a new turn and I had a bit difficult on the turn so I really trained the turn to the butterfly method. I had the My Way Masterclass to tell you a bit all the things that I've been learning to improve my own riding, even about balance, riding without stirrups, doing exercise at home with a morning routine 
in the Butterfly My Way Masterclasses on the first series, there is a morning routine where you have a lot of other exercises also that you can train your balance as well. So that not only this, but you can train at home, you know, with um, doing exercises like this. Um, you can do uh, uh, thousands of other things and, um, and then play, you know, with a yoga. Great things for you there to train. So important is hands position, really important. Shoulder positions to have a good balance. You need a good position. I like it to be straight. Good, like connection from your legs to the horse, saddle and to the horse. The core, strong core, like you know, breathing and then have a strong core here. Like your strength is here and stays there with you. This is so important. Look high, always a good position with your head. Don't let your shoulders fall to one side or the other. Don't get your legs too much to the one side or to the other. Have a good, really, weight on both legs. So really, there are so many things you can do. And um, I would love to show you much more, but uh, you know, I, be, I have even a trampoline here. I would love to... that I received and give you another challenge for the next week. Have you already been doing the challenge from the last week? How many times did you get the heart butterfly? Uh, I got already about last time about 36. It's a lot but I really had to do a lot of ways and I got more kind of confused if I was already doing the same ways or not. But try, it's fun. It's also good mental training. So now I'm going to answer some of your questions. It's really nice you're here. And uh, I'd like to thank you so much for sending me the questions before. They were great. Julia asked me, how does the balance influence the horse performance? Julia, I think I just answered your question. Maybe a medal in London. Can you imagine if I would have had my stirrups and I would have not lost my balance on the turn and I would have jumped a clear round. If, 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 we should not go back in the past. We can learn from the past. So another tip for you, just go back in the past to learn. Don't stay in the past. The mistakes should be, they're gone. We learn, we analyze, and we let them go. If they come again, we keep learning, but we don't stay on the past. Yeah, this is a great tip. So how does the balance, inf the balance influence? Yes, it does a lot. So train all the things you can at home with your trainer, with safety. This is really important and you have plenty of exercise to train your balance and to improve your performance. So Maria Judita, any exercise to train in the jumping and in the landing? So to train the balance on the landing, on the jump? Yes. When you are jumping, so if you jump and you just want us to go in front. Try not to go too much in front, not too fast. Try not to stay behind when the horse jumps. So try to let him make you jump. Go with him. You understand? Go with the horse. So go with the horse. Yeah? Go not too much in front. So before the fence is here and you're ready with your body in front. That's already losing your balance before the jump. The horse is waiting for you, he jumps and you stay behind of his jump. It's also not good for him, so try to follow him. Be smoothly with him. Go with him. You understand? Not too much in front, not too fast, not behind. Just go with him, with your hands a bit down here, a good position. Just feel and then go with him with your hands a little bit in front. Not too much, not standing here. So you see, it's difficult to tell you how you should do. It's a feeling. Try to feel, to feel. This is so important, okay? So, um, here is left. 
recommendations for the body position on the turns and on the surface. Exactly, that's what we've been talking before. Like in London again, I had a U turn, I lost my steers, probably I went a little bit unbalanced and I stayed too much in my left leg, in my inside steer. So my weight was like this, boom, I had a mistake. So how can you train that? Ride without steers and do a lot of U turns, eight circles, changing leads. Use the heart butterfly to train the balance. Use any kind of butterfly exercise to train balance because it's always training the U turn, you stay on the eight figure, which means it's the flow. The flow is the balance. So if you want to train balance, train the flow straight. Jump with the horse from one lead to the other. Stay straight on the jump. Look forwards. Don't want to ask your horse to change the lead and then, okay, we go left now. No, go with your, if you're coming and countering on the right side and on the butterfly exercise and you want to go left, keep straight with your body, just go a little bit with your right leg behind and then you turn to the foot. You straight, straight, okay? So the recommendations for your body position is to use the heart butterfly and the butterfly exercises to keep straight, in good position, and everything we spoke before. So, and then a white country gallop or a ah, country gallop is good for the balance. Yes, it's a great exercise for, to balance more the horse than yourself. Because if you're galloping, if you're country on the right side, and then you go to the left. You have to keep straight, a good balance with your, if you are right, you go with your left leg a little bit behind and then when the horse goes left, he's going to try to change the lead to, to left. So you have to keep your balance straight with your leg a little bit behind and the horse has to also get himself on balance. So this is a great exercise to train the balance of the horse is a great question. Thank you so much. So then you train your balance and the horse's balance as well. So do a lot of country gallop is a great exercise. Look at what are the risks to ride without stirrups? Yes, that's also a very good question. Please, safety. Always wear a hand and if you can, have a trainer with you together. Um, if your horse is spooky or whatever, when you have no steers, everything can come quicker. So safety is really number one. And when you feel good, then you can take your steers out. So ride normally your horse, get warm, your muscles warm, horse is warm, and then you can get the steers out and then train. If you have a trainer that can mount you, it's even great exercise to do it. And um, if not, you can do it alone. And it's a lot of other things, like I just said to you here now, you can do and practice every day on your daily life. You know, starting already by the little things where you can have at home. And you can have a good balance already while I am talking to you. I'm already on the top of one of them, talking to you for your questions. So, I would like now to give you a challenge for the next week. Would you like to ride the heart butterfly without stirrups and send your videos to me to analyze how you're doing, if you're having a good position, if you're having trouble with this? Would you like to do that? Would you like to try that? I would love to see some of your videos. So, the heart butterfly challenge for this week is Ride the hard butterfly without stirrups with a good balance. I'm sure you're gonna love it and it's gonna be fun and you're gonna laugh about it. Ride with a smile, be connected with us, and we're gonna be next Monday together again in the Monday with Luciana. I hope you enjoy being with me today and I hope to see you next week again. Bye! And I'm still training my balance all the time. Perseverance, discipline, repetition, this is the key to the success. Yes.